Welcome. I hope that you are doing well. By the end of this video, you will be able to build force fields in the games that you're creating in Roblox Studio. Now, there are two things you may think of when you think of a force field. Uh, what we'll be covering in this video is how to create an object or a part that looks like a force field. This video is not on how to create a force field around your player as they are playing um, that helps them avoid damage and those kinds of things. Instead, you will be able to create things like blocks and walls that looks like a force field. Let's get started. So you are going to want to have Roblox Studio open. Now, there are two main ways that you can create something that looks like a force field. The first way uh, you will be able to create something that looks like a block uh, or a special part, um, but you will have may have problems resizing the block, but it'll have pretty cool textures. Uh, the second way you will be able to easily resize the force field, uh, but you will might be limited on the textures that you can use. So let's start with the first way. And the first thing you're going to want to do is create a part. And so I'm just going to add a block here and I'll just move it a little closer. Now I'm going to scale it and you can go ahead and scale it to uh, the size that you would like. And then uh, the first thing you want to do is with the part selected, you go down to the right hand side of the screen on the bottom where it has the properties. And the first thing you want to do is go ahead and click on the material is currently plastic. And you're going to change that to force field. And so now we've got a force field uh, look to the part. So we're well on our way to make it look like a force field. Now, uh, the next thing you're going to want to do is insert a special mesh onto that part. So in order to do that, you can either right click and insert object. And then you can just type in uh, mesh and then click on the one that says special mesh. And so that gives you the special mesh. I'm going to undo that for a second, control Z to undo. The other way you can add that mesh is just go to the part that you created and then press add on the explore tab and then just click in mesh and then special mesh that way. So once you have the mesh uh, in, inserted in your part, you're going to click on mesh and you can see on the bottom right hand side, the properties of the mesh. And so you can change like say the mesh type right now it's a head. So it kind of looks kind of an interesting shape. So I'm going to change that to a brick. That's, that's a pretty good uh, mesh. Uh, to use for this. You can see if you try other things, what happens if I do a cylinder, it's um, kind of a, a middle cylinder there. And then uh, if I use a sphere, it looks like that. So again, you can use different um, mesh types for this, but I'm going to use a brick to get started. Once you have the mesh inserted and you have it selected on the mesh type you would like, then you're going to go ahead and add an image ID into this or a texture ID, and that's going to make it uh, look like a force field. So to do that, you can go over to models, um, on the toolbox and then click down instead of using models you can use images and this is the easiest way I found to do it and then you can look up textures I'm gonna go ahead and look up force field you could look up things like clouds work really well as well as other kinds of uh, textures and then so a couple of these are, are meant for textures for force field so if I were to right click on this one that I like I'm gonna just copy the asset ID and so that was basically control copied it and then once I have that asset ID copied I go over to the right hand side of the screen again and the texture ID, I'm going to click there and I'm just going to copy uh, control V. So paste that in there. You could also just, um, you know, right click and, and paste it. Once you have that number in there, I'm going to press uh, uh, enter. And then once I've got that entered, you can see now we've got a force field. So again, you can see this is the first way. And so uh, the, the, the main thing that's happening is the force field is created, but I'm going to have problems resizing it later. But at least I've got a really cool looking cube force field. And um, right now it's white. If you would like to change the uh, force field uh, color, what you can do is click on the mesh. So with the mesh selected, go down to this thing called vertex color. And now I can go ahead and change the color of that force field. So if I were to change it, let's say to 0.5 on the first number, it's going to turn to a blue kind of color. Um, that's probably one of my favorite colors. If you keep using the first um, number and changing it, it'll just turn to different shades of blue. And then so you can change that number. And then let's say if you wanted to change this to the second number, again, you want to use numbers between zero and one for this. Otherwise, it will be white. And so if I do that, it kind of uh, oh, I used five. So it got it made it brighter, actually. Um, so that's actually kind of cool. So if you use really uh, large numbers, you can see it makes it kind of um, fluorescent or uh, really bright. Let me see if I do another 10 here. Yeah, so really, really bright color um, when you use tens. So again, the vertex color, you can play around with these numbers and get it to the uh, look that you would like. If I do one and then 0.5 for the second one, you can see it turns into like a, a pink or, or a purple color. 
And again, so these are ways that you can change the color of the force field. So that's the first way that you can create a force field. Again, you can play around with this a lot. You can change the image that you use, and that will change uh, the uh, look and feel of the force field. You can change the colors over here. And uh, that this, this force field is probably the, one of the coolest looking force fields in the game that you can create. So that is the first way that you can create a force field object. Uh, the second way is to uh, create, um, you're going to add a insert an object into the game. So I'm just going to right click in the game and click insert object. And this time I'm going to create a mesh part. So it comes up mesh part. So I'm going to go and create that mesh part. So you see it looks a little different than a normal block, but you can still move it and scale it similar that you would with a with a regular block. And so now, I'm, you can, again, you can change this one. This is the one where you're going to be able to change the size more easily. So let's say I go ahead and have that selected, have the uh, mesh part selected, and then go down to the bottom right-hand side. Now, this one's a little easier. You're going to uh, change the material to force field. So already, it has a force field look to it. And again, I can change this and scale it any way uh, that I would like. Uh, now, uh, there are, you can uh, play around with this uh, force field with uh, the uh, properties on the bottom right hand side. So one thing you can do is change the brick color. So this one's kind of easy to change the brick color. You can see what uh, color you're changing it to uh, before you change it. So let's say I wanted something like that turquoise again. So there we go with the bright blue. And uh, you can, if you want to take away the shadow, that's a good idea too, because if you take away the shadow, that looks more like a force field. And uh, then uh, reflectance, you can change that one so that it changes the look of the reflectance and so forth. So uh, with the bottom uh, side of the screen, you can look at the uh, properties. Now, if you want to do the texture idea with this one, I've noticed that it doesn't work the same way. So let's say I use that same texture idea and I insert it in there. It's going to have this kind of like block look. If anyone knows how to change that block look into more of like these textures with the mesh part, go ahead and put that in the comment section below. One thing I wanted to point out about the force fields, especially the first type that we created, um, this one over here, with the colors that you use, if you use darker colors, they tend to have a slower look to the uh, force field. And then if you use brighter colors or, or lighter colors, then they have a kind of like a uh, quick uh, flash with the force fields. So that's something to keep in mind when you're creating these. And again, so these were the two main ways that you can create force fields. One's easier to, easier to resize and one uh, has a kind of a cooler texture to it. You now know how to create force field objects in the games that you're creating in Roblox Studio. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. I do my best to answer those. I have other Roblox Studio tutorials available. I'll put links to them around this video. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. I thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.